Hi, Hi Noah. Noah. Tamar and Johnny. Oh my gosh, you guys sound so jolly. Oh, hey we guys. Are. Good morning. <laughs> We're jolly because Good we hear morning. like you're the like a fantastic kind of dude. We heard yeah. that you're oh. like a super duper guy. And you're adorable. Tamar. I, looked at, I looked you up. You're so cute. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. Now I'm going to blush. Hold on, wait. I need a Vogue for you. Hold on. How do you do that? I'm not, I'm not even sure. I wish we could see each other, guys. You know what? But it's I all know. good, everyone, because I'm going to tag them on the ground, you know, so everyone be on the lookout yeah, for yeah. that now. Mm -hmm. Period. Tamar, by the way, I interviewed your sis, Tony. She's so lovely. We talked about, you know, she opened up about her story with lupus and stuff. She's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. She is fantastic. Yeah. She's great and my favorite person to tease. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you I want to say to her today? Come, come on, Tamar, tease her, tease her now. <laughs> um, Tony Braxton, I love you so much, and that's why your Tony Braxton challenge is blowing up. <laughs> it's so <laughs> fun. It's <laughs> fun challenges of quarantine. Thank you so much. Yes, it was. <laughs> so you both have teamed up to put an end to bad beauticians, and let me just say, I'm here for it all. So Tamar, tell us about oh. the catch a beautician, as I really think it's the perfect time because so many are trying to now cut their hair in quarantine. Yes. Honey. Listen, let me tell you something. This is the perfect time because, please, no chemicals during quarantine. I'm just start off by saying that, okay? Um, you know, we all have had botched up hairdos, you know, things that we expected to get while we're sitting in the chair, and then we end up with something that looks a horrid mess, or, it, you know, it's so mm -hmm. traumatic that, you know, our hair fall out, or we get the wrong color, or um, it's just a catastrophe. And we're just here to, you know, give the stylist and give the um, the person who got jacked up, you know, some type of <laughs> some type of redemption and also some type of voice. Because what do you do when somebody jacks up your hair? Most people are really uncomfortable to talk to their stylist, especially when it's time to pay or when it's done. And they're like, oh, do you like it? You're forced, mm -hmm. sometimes you feel forced to say yes. Um, but in those times, Johnny and I are here to help. So they come to us. <laughs> and That's right. Yes, you know what? <laughs> I definitely can relate because I have a bad hair story as well. I'll share it with you guys real, real quick. But I was going to get my hair dyed. I wanted kind of like a light brownish, blondish highlight tint to my hair. And I even showed my stylist a photo to kind of show her how I wanted it to look, you know, once she got done with it. Well, honey, she dyed my hair all the way blonde. And I'm like, what? You know, I just like, oh, I like it. But then two hours later, it turned even more orange than Donald Trump. Looked. So I'm like... So you, had, so, you had, so you had to go to another stylist to fix it? Yeah, to fix it. I didn't want to go back to her. She's like, oh, come back to me. I can fix it. I'm like, ah! You know, I'm like, I don't know about that now. I, I might need to go somewhere else because it didn't look nothing like the photo I showed her. I'm like, girl, you know. So. Well, next next <laughs> time that happens, call us. We got you. Yeah, that's <laughs> right, John. We'll get you and the beautician and we'll get everybody together. How about that? Yeah. That, that's right. Johnny, she needs to take your hair boot camp. Let's talk about that now. How does that go down in the series and what's the outcome for the beautician once they go through, like, your rigorous hair boot camp? Yeah, so after they're confronted by the stylist and they have their little back and forth banter and try to get both sides of the story, I ask the stylist, "Is are they open to going through a boot camp with me and learning some new techniques so this won't ever happen again? Most of the time they say yes, and if they do say yes, I put them through a rigorous boot camp and I show them some new techniques based on what happened when it, when it went wrong in the botch job. And... They're mostly receptive to it. I, I do think as stylists, we all are willing to learn something new and we want to learn new techniques because in this business, it's forever changing and there's new techniques come out monthly or daily even. So it's nice to learn some new things and I'm always willing to show people some new tricks. I like that a lot, Johnny. Well, now me sharing my bad hair story. Have you guys ever had someone do your hair and mess up very badly, Tamar? Hell yeah. Listen, <laughs> it's a, I grew up in a house full of girls, so we are all we were always experimenting on each other, especially with hair. My mom was a hairdresser growing up, so my sister oh. Tracy um, did this process. It was called a new era back in the day, and yeah. it was a, it was three steps. And the second step was the neutralizing um, step, oh. and she forgot to put the neutralizing part in my hair, and so my hair fell out. So, oh, yeah, you know, Tamar, absolutely. Oh my gosh. 
Lastly, I want to ask you guys, hearing the stories from just, you know, everyday people that we would get to meet in the series, which one personally touched you both the most? Um, there was there was one um, uh, client who was raised in a foster home and she just had a lot of self-esteem issues and and this traumatic situation would, made it even worse for her. And in her mind, the Silas didn't really care about her because he felt like people just didn't care and they just threw her away all her life. So that one was very touching for us. And I think, you know, you might even see a couple of tears. I'm not crying, but you will be crying. <laughs> Grab the Kleenexes, everyone. Get your Kleenexes if you can find them in the store now. Or not going to have to wipe with paper towels. <laughs> Yes, okay, you will cry, but we're reading you for film too, because that yeah. has to be done. As well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, I cannot wait for this, you guys. To catch a beautician premieres Monday, May the twenty fifth, nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time Pacific on VH1. Tamar and Johnny, thank you for taking the time. When I got the opportunity to speak with you, or you know, was getting the opportunity to speak with you guys, I was very much excited for it because I've been longtime fans for both of you. So I'm so greatly oh, appreciated. Oh, thank that you, guys you know, uh, Thank yeah, you, Noah. Thank you. Guys you guys take care and be well and stay safe. You, you too. too. Oh, thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, bye.